All righty. So Alpen Fury has been announced for Canada's Wonderlands 2025 attraction. It is Canada's longest, tallest, and fastest launch coaster coming in the 2025 season. Um, and it is absolutely insane. Like, it went down a whole different avenue than I thought it was going to go down. So it kept its low to the ground state through literally almost the whole ride it's pretty much low to the ground it's a powerhouse it looks to have amazing pacing i am a little worried about the length um in terms of the pacing but it seems to be holding up um they did count the first launch as a launch which is crazy um but nonetheless they kept it low to the ground which makes sense um, and in exchange, we got nine inversions and this like serpent style track that just intertwines with itself. It's absolutely insane. Honestly, I'm still digesting um, the ride. I love the color scheme. I like that they kept it neutral. Very pleased by that. The station looks amazing. A little confused by um, its surrounding area, but I'll get into that at the end of the video. Let's keep it to ride facts. So the story, the villagers at the base of Wonder Mountain closed the climbing trails decades ago after tales began to spread that it had become home to beasts and mystical forces. One legend holds that at the mountain's core, fire and ice come together in their most raw elemental states to create powerful natural force that is both terrifying and awe-inspiring. The story has become an ingrained has become so ingrained in local culture that the Elpen village now celebrates this mythical union with its own fire and ice festival every year. As a visitor, you're fortunate to find yourself in the village during the height of the festival. It's jubilant, jubilant and colorful celebration. Those brave enough are invited to visit the sled house um, where a sleek modern sled awaits outfitted for a journey through a very heart through the very heart of Wonder Mountain and beyond. The temptation for adventure overcomes and any trepidation you feel about facing the forces within. You board the sled and buckle in before being launched into a journey of a lifetime. Sorry, I literally have had no sleep the last two days. Record breaking. Alpen Fury is a dual launch roller coaster and will be the longest, tallest, and fastest launch coaster in Canada. It will feature a thrilling launch inside Wonder Mountain that will propel you vertically out of its summit 50 meters into the sky before hurling you through the twists and turns of the nine breathtaking inversions, the most inversions for a launch coaster in North America. I actually think that's tied, but I don't hold me to that. It's 2 in the morning. I got to go do some fact checking on that. Um, I think it's tied for most inversions in North America. Unique ride elements. Elpen Fury features a double launch, one that propels you into the depths of Wonder Mountain and another that blasts you out of its summit. It features nine inversions and three unique elements you won't experience anywhere else. The Fire Serpent Roll is a distant... Is a distant relation to the sea serpent roll, twisting and inverting riders through weightlessness and two unparalleled train to track near miss interactions in a single element. The Sky Flyer Loop pays homage to the park's former attraction and features an ascending helix that crests into a zero G stall before diving into an inverting descending roll. And the ice winder roll twists and then in untwists riders in two inversions as they ascend and descend through an overbanked hill. What's crazy about the Sky Flyer loop is the American engineers that I hired were really close um, to that inversion that they predicted. I had just set the bar way too high for them in terms of uh, what I was expecting at Extreme Sky Flyer. So it's pretty crazy. They got very close to that inversion um, without even knowing the footing. So kudos to them. But a lot of the other ride was pretty close in terms of the elements it was doing. We obviously were not expecting anywhere close to nine inversions. Um, but it definitely hugs the mountain that I was trying to tell everyone. It wasn't going to enter in. But wow, there are a lot of differences as well. I was not expecting this powerhouse. Um, truthfully, a powerhouse of a roller coaster. Um, I was expecting, uh, literally, I was expecting this launching into the mountain. 
um, and then launching out. Um, I was expecting a little bit of a storytelling in the holds. And then I was expecting it to do two or three elements and then hit a holding break and then launch and do one big element and then come back. So that's crazy um, that it's like I would almost call it like a Velocicoaster Maverick breed, but I'm probably going to get dragged for that. But to me, this is better than I was expecting. This, I think, is what Wonderland fans have wanted for a long time. Um, an inversion based ride that has a lot of these near misses and these tight twists and turns and the speed. And honestly, I'm so excited. Um, it makes me wonder if it's going to be open during Winterfest because it is low to the ground, which helps its case to be open during Winterfest. But knock on wood, I don't know Wonderland. It is really hard to get a roller coaster certified for Winterfest. So we'll have to wait and see. Um, but um, yeah. Wow, what do you guys think? Comment down below, what do you think? I'll now get into the nitty gritty. Um, really awkward that they didn't retheme the fly or give it a new paint job. I don't know if that's not happening in this animation. This animation's a little confusing. There's like a little building just off to the right of that launch right there that I don't know if that's the queue line or theming. Um, so very curious about that. Um, is it gonna have a fire effect? I'm not sure. As you can see, International Showplace is still there, so untouched. Um, but wow. Wow, the way they were able to utilize the land and not get in the way of anything is crazy. Like, so few things are interfered with. Um, I just realized, does it <laughs> change support colors during the ride? Is that white on blue for ice and then it turns into brown in the alpen area yeah right about there that's that's cool i like that i haven't seen that before um wow okay just like look at this shot right here i'm gonna insert an overall shot right about now okay one sec wow so just take this in the way this roller coaster stays low to the ground um, it hugs a very thin strip of land. Um, I don't think anyone was expecting this from Premiere. From what I can tell, I'm going to release a second video with my total analysis of the ride stats because that's a whole separate conversation. Um, but you know what? No, I'll include it in this. But it's just amazing. This coaster is amazing. It's like it is what we wanted. Okay, so let's insert the ride facts right here. Alrighty, so the ride facts are it is Premier Rides, it is a launch coaster, it will be uh, a height of 50 meters, the drop is 47 meters, max speed 115 kilometers an hour, length of track is 1000 meters, number of inversions is 9, the most for a launch coaster in North America, 2 trains, 2 trains, 18 riders per train, duration 1 minute and 20 seconds, so there are a few things of concern. Obviously, that last three right there. Well, I guess the last one is not too much of a concern because when you have a powerhouse, it's okay to be a little short in duration. Um, riders per train, 18, a little concerning there. Um, but the two trains, like, so essentially one loads and prepares to launch and then launches while the other one loads with people. And then I guess in the minute and 20 seconds, like, that's a... That's really bad capacity. Like, I'm and with fast lane, how's fast lane gonna work with this ride? 18 riders per train. Fast lane, are you only gonna let like two or four fast lane people on per cycle at a minute and 20 second intervals? That's insane. Um, a little curious about the decision making there and how they weren't able to incorporate three trains. But I get it. I get it. Like, it, you, you didn't want to have a mid-course break run and without the second launch along. And this is why. That was a huge contributing factor as to why we thought it was going to have a second launch out. I couldn't see a mid-course mid -course break runs on launch coasters just don't make sense. Usually the second launch acts as that mid-course. So that was my thinking behind that. So very curious as to the decision making with not having that second launch along the course of the ride to have in three trains but again in exchange we're getting what i think everyone wanted so i think it's a fair trade 
And like, truthfully, this is what everyone wanted. Like, were you guys not blown away? I feel like, I feel like <laughs> no one got close to what we were expecting. Um, I think a lot of people just thought four, five inversions max. Like we were thinking three, four, five max, absolutely, when we were designing and going off the footing blueprint. And wow, I'm so excited. I'm really excited. Um, if I obviously learn anything else, I'll have some other thoughts um, in a video out as well. But kudos to Wonderland for keeping this a secret for so long and obviously just knocking us off our feet with the announcement of this coaster. Very impressed by it. Super excited. Um, can't wait to go to the park and check out their uh, their little marketing setup. Anyways, thank you so much for watching the speculation part of this ride. Um, again, this was the hardest project I've covered. Wonderland was so secretive, um, and it paid off. Uh, so super excited. Thank you so much for supporting, um, and stay tuned for our construction updates. Have a good one, guys. Bye.